Well, hello, and welcome to Lesson 7-5. My helpers today uh, are Ben, Connor, and Jack from my 7th grade class, and they're going to help me um, talk to you. And just like every other lesson that we've talked about, all Chapter 7, this one is going to be about solving equations. I could even throw in a little multi, right here, multi-step equations. But with dot, 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 because it seems like we keep doing multi-step equations and we keep doing different things. First we did um, combining like terms, then we did fractions and decimals and clearing fractions and clearing decimals. Um, and already we've talked about in some of the earlier videos how we're sometimes going to be solving equations with, and so this one is about variables on both sides. Okay, and so normally all we have to do is attack one side that has the variable on it. We try to get rid of all the numbers that are over there with the variable, and we get our answer. Well, what we're going to see today in today's lesson is equations like this. 9a plus 2 equals 7a minus 18. Notice that you've got a variable on Four. both sides. Four. All right, you've got a 9a on one side and you've got a 4a on the other. Yeah. All right, now, here's the deal. All you got to do to get this equation to look like all the other ones we've done so far this week is to get the variables together on the same side. And what we're going to do, normally we try to isolate the variable and get the numbers around it to go away. Well, this time we're actually going to move a variable and a number together. We're going to move them over to the other side. And it's really actually a lot easier than you might think. All right. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. And I am not in any way, shape, or form an advocate of bullying. But when we solve equations... With variables on both sides, we're always going to pick on the little guy. That's right. We're going to pick on the little guy. So which is the little guy if you have 9A and 4A? 4A. 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 So let's pick on the 4A. And we're not really going to pick on him so much as we're going to move him over to the big brother side. And to get rid of 4A, we want the whole term to go over here. Well, the way we do that is we make the entire term go away. So we're going to use addition and subtraction, usually subtraction, and we're going to subtract 4A from the right side. It's not that different from doing opposites and balance. And sure enough, just like doing balance before, we have to do the same thing to the left. Look what happens when I do this. 4a minus 4a Cancel. goes Cancel. away perfectly. You get yeah. negative 18, don't you? Over on the left side, 9a minus 4a two. equals 5a a plus 2. two and now, doesn't that look just like all the other equations that we've been doing all chapter? Yes. So let's switch colors and let's go ahead and solve this. We'll subtract 2 from both sides. Draw a big line. Fruit Ninja. We get 5a equals negative 20. Yeah, negative 20. And now what do I have to get rid of? Divide both um, sides by 5. Right, divide, divide both, both sides, sides by 5. Jack and Connor, you guys are on it. Negative 4. We've got to get Ben involved here. Yeah. So divide both sides by 5, and you get a equals negative 4. Because the negative right. 20 is bigger. Now, so let's... Take the yeah, of exactly. Of yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, well, not because the negative 20 is bigger. 20 divided by 5 is 4, yeah. and negative divided by positive is a negative. Now, yeah. plug it back in and see if that works. We get negative 36. I'm going to actually, that's a lot of stuff to do in my head, so let's do negative 36 plus 2. And will that equal 4 times negative 4 is what? 4 times negative 4 would be negative um, 16. Negative 16. Minus 18. I thought that would be a positive. No, because it is a negative times a positive. Remember, oh, when they're different signs, it stays different. Times negative. All right, over here, negative 36 plus 2 will bring us back up to negative 34. And negative 18 and negative 16, they're both negative, so we're going to combine those, find the sum, and sure enough, we're going to get 34, and it's a negative. So now, oops, that was supposed to be a negative sign. I brought an equals. I need an equals, but I need a negative first. All right, so negative 34 equals negative 34, and it does check. That's it, guys. Yeah. So notice the only part of this that was new is that first lime green step where I got the variables on the same side. Yes. All right, so that's it, guys. So let's go ahead and practice, and we'll, we'll keep the same color coding. We'll use lime green to do the new part, the new thing that we're doing today, which is the uh, getting the variables together. And then we'll do the regular solving in blue like we just did on this one, okay? All right, so let's practice a few more problems. So there's two problems right there, okay? Let's just do the one on the left right now. So we have negative 15 plus, that's a B, plus 6B equals negative 8B plus 13. Jackie, you have a question? I think I know what you do first. And Good. First. All right, now hold on. Before you tell me, we're going to pick on the little guy, and so remember, negatives automatically they make things smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think we're going to attack, the 6B or the negative 8B? The negative, uh, negative 8B. Yeah, and, and right, and, and this one's negative. So to pick on the little guy here, how do we make negative 8B go away? We're actually going to do what negative first? Negative 8B minus. Add. No, add. Well, minus a negative 8B. Oh, What's yeah. minus a negative, Jack? 
Yeah. It's plus. Yeah. yeah. So let's add eight B here. And if I do that here, and notice when I write, when I add my ABs, I'm being very careful to put them underneath the B terms. So that fruit ninjas nicely. I could have wrote the 8B like over here, but that wouldn't make sense because it's not going to combine with the negative 15. It's only going to combine with the like term. So let's copy down the whole equation. We get negative 15. Let's see. We have 6 and 8Bs. That's 14Bs. 14 14 Good. You guys got it. Wow. Plus 13. This is only your oh, second problem. 13. You already got it. Equals 13. Yeah. Or you can put a positive. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and solve this. Um, we want to get B by itself. So we have a, a minus 15 that's added, and we have a 14 that is multiplied. Sad map tells me to get rid of that addition, mm -hmm. or you might think of it as a minus 15. I don't care. Subtraction addition gets rid of first. So we're, again, we're going to add to get rid of the minus. So let's add 15 to both sides. 8, 28. And this fruit ninjas, we get 14B equals 28. And we can solve this in our heads now. Divide, divide both by sides by 14. And you get 2. You get Yay. B equals 2. Now let's see if that checks. So the check is going to be a little bit more, um, it's a little hard to do in our heads. So we're going to actually show the checks. Let's switch colors to red again for checks. Okay. Um, put 2 in there. We get negative 15. Stays the same. Plus 6 times 2. I can do that part of my head. That's plus 12. Mm -hmm. Equals Negative 8 times 2, a negative times a positive, gives me a negative, negative 16 plus, plus 13. 13. If I combine these, negative 15 and positive 12 is negative 3. And if I combine these, negative 16 and positive 13 is also negative 3. And sure enough, they're equal, so it checks. Mm. You guys got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Ben, you've been awful quiet today. Why don't you speak up on All this right. next one? All right, who's the little guy here? Pick on the little guy. Uh, 2x. Ouch! I'm not the little guy. Oh, okay, yeah, the 2x, there you go. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. You guys are mean. All right, bullies. Bully, don't touch me. 4x minus, one. yeah, I did. So that should have fruit ninja. Yeah. Um, here, you know, I probably much. should take that back. All right, thank you guys for catching that. Yeah. Uh, that was not good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, that fruit ninjas, mm -hmm. and on the left I get... Um, two. 2x two plus, plus 4 equals, equals on the right, 36. And now let's just go ahead and solve this. Subtract, subtract four. four. Man, you guys two are like robots. 32 answers 12. Nope. Oh. Answers, what's half of 32? 16. 16. 16. Be ah. careful. Don't be, don't be too fast. All right, now let's check it. Yes. So the check, let's put six, 16 in there. Four times 16. 64. I'm, yeah, it is 64. I'll go be stupid quick. <laughs> Equals two times 16 plus 36. I'm going to run out of room there. All right, so 64 plus 4 is what the left simplifies to. On the right, we get 32 plus 36. And this one equals 68. And this one equals 68. And so again, it checks. Yay. All right, that's the new strategy. Not, not really that bad, right? All you got to do is if you see a variable on both sides of the equation, just take Pick on the little guy and move that whole variable with the number over to the other side using subtraction or addition. Now, if that's all there was to these, we'd be done. It wouldn't even probably be its own lesson. But we can combine some of these things that we've been talking about. We can combine variables on both sides, plus distributive property, plus other simplifying tricks. And so we could word see problems. equations, plus word problems. Good one, Connor. Um, we could see problems like this. So again, identify that there is a variable on both sides. Okay, and sure enough, there is. Now, this one has parentheses. So what do you think we should do to solve the parentheses? Uh, don't you do them last. Well, you well, could do them yeah, last, right. but if I divide by 12, I'm going to get 8 twelfths on the left, and then I've got to mm. deal with fractions. So I think this is one of those ones where mm. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. Oh, yeah, distribute the property. Now, this is actually an old trick, so I'm going to do this part in blue. So that nothing happens to the left side. I'm going to recopy 8x, and you do need to write that down. But let's okay. distribute the 12 in. So 12, 12 times x is? 12x. And 12 times a, ha a negative half is minus what? What's half of 12? Uh, 6. Six. Six. Yeah, you're all right. Oh, uh, 6. Yeah. All right, now, are the variables on the same side? Uh, no. 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 All right, so let's pick on the little guy. Let's move the 8x over to this side. All right. And if I do that, now this Fruit Ninjas, this is a little different. If yeah. Fruit Ninjas, there's nothing left over here on the left, so I'm going to actually write 0 down this time. Hmm. Equals 4x uh. minus 6. Add 6 to both sides. You get 4x is mm -hmm. equal to 6. Divide both sides by 4. Oh, and I, Whoa, four. sorry, 4. And I get x is equal to 6 over 4, which is... Now, why don't you show, I want to show you how I reduce this. Okay, I'm not going to have to necessarily write down a bunch of random numbers. I'm going to actually keep doing the equal sign. 6 fourths reduces to 3 over okay. 2, and that reduces to two 1 and a half. 
And I'm okay with either of these answers. Oh, yeah. It turns out that leaving it as three halves makes it a little easier to check. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if I check this one, it's a little harder to check this one, but it turns out if I put three halves in for x, eight times three halves, uh, the eight and the two will cancel 12. out. You'll get four times three is exactly right. You'll get 12. And if I put one and a half in to the right side, obviously if I take one and a half minus a half, it's just going to be one. And what's 12 times one? 12. Yeah. Oh. So I get 12. So, yeah. it, so I didn't write the check on this one, but it did check. All right. So listen, um, we're already over 10 minutes, so that's literally all I wanted you to see. Um, and you're going to practice solving equations with variables on both sides tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. And this is Ben and Jack and Connor saying thanks, guys. Thank thanks. you. All right, we'll see you tomorrow in class. Or they will see you tomorrow in class. I will be out. Um, be really good for Miss White and see if you can't win Serial Day. Bye.